Hey guys, it's me again. Creative just released 4.1, which added back in the reference images tool. So I'm going to go over that really quick. Just very simple, nothing too crazy. I do highly recommend checking out their release notes. They have updated some other stuff as well, just like the bug fixes and stuff. <clears throat> Alright, so if you go to the left side of your toolbar, there is this little pin. And that's going to be the tool for the reference images that you need. And under tool options, you can see it has again changed. There's a little square, the plus icon, and just like with layers, if we add this, it adds something new. The same thing with this tool. You click on it once, and then you can navigate to whatever folder you want. You can add in your images that uh, you want to reference. So I'm just going to add in a couple here. You can see they're all at the upper left hand corner, kind of like when you import a layer, it does the same thing. Did I open this one already? I don't know. Alright, so if I click on it, don't have to do anything else, I'm still in the same tool, just click on it once, a little box pops up in the middle, and I can move it. I imported three, so I can move them all around. I can scale them. Right now my aspect ratio is locked, so it's always one to one, meaning I can't squish or stretch this. If I uncheck it, I can stretch and squish it. I don't want to do that. And I can also change the opacity of the one I've, I've uh, selected. And if there's color, I can desaturate it. Which can be useful if you're just trying to find hues or tones and shadows and stuff in a reference image. So again, it doesn't matter which one I click. I can select multiple. If I just drag and let go. So I can change the opacity of an, all of them at once, and same the saturation. Of course, there's no color in these, so it's not going to show. I apologize. And then the save location. You can either link it to the image, which means if you move that image from that folder that it's linking to, it can't find it, so you have to go back and relink it or re-import it. If you embed it to the creative file, you don't have to bother with that. It will always be in this file, or in this little group. It's stuck in there. I recommend keeping it to embed in Krita unless um, you're using specific re in reference images that you want in a specific folder so when you go to add it again it can it'll be there. And that's fine. You know, use whatever preference works for you. Now let's say these three images I always want to reference in my future drawings for color or whatever it is. I don't want to re-import each one every single time. So you can actually save this group. Now make sure when you're saving it to save it as a creative reference image collection. So I'm just going to name this Mermaids. I'm going to hit save. So now that I have saved that out, I'm going to delete these. And to delete all of them at once, I can hit this X here, which says all. But I can also select one and just hit the delete key. So I deleted all of them. I'm going to open up. My reference image file by hitting this little folder icon. Click on my file, hit open, it comes in exactly as I saved it out as. So if I move this here, I move this here, I move that there, and I were to save this out, I'll just say mermaids2. I'm gonna delete that to make sure. Oops. Kind of clear, open. It's exactly as I saved it out, which is really handy. And that's pretty much there is all there is to the the, the tool. Um, you can still color select with. Um, oh, I hit the wrong button. There we go. Still color select anything you want with the eyedropper tool. So I can oh, hit all visible layers. So it's still giving me those values down here, which is nice. Or you can just hit the control key and then I drop it, which is usually what I do. So as you can see, I'm getting white. I'm getting let me see events I can see. I got like black, dark gray. So that's yeah, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I know this video was really short, but that pretty simple tool, really helpful. Um, 
I will, I know I made a video about reference images, my workflow tips. You can still definitely use that method, but at the time they didn't have this tool. Now that they have it, I recommend this better because it doesn't use up any of your layers. So it kind of frees that up and avoids you accidentally drawing on it as well. But use whatever works for you. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment or a like, subscribe. I have my support links down in the video description below. And I will see you guys in the next one.